welcome to the session today's topic for the session is the types for uh, types of the transmission line and its uh, equation my name is ajit suryanshi from the electronics and telecommunication department so what is the learning output outcome of this today's session is the at the end of the st session student should be able to write the equation or derive the equation of the transmission line so what should be the knowledge you require before proceed further into this, uh, this session is uh, you should have a knowledge of the Maxwell equation, so probably within the, the free space, and you should have a knowledge of in solving the differential equation. So as the topic of the discussion is the transmission line and uh, what you may have wondered about what is the transmission line. So name itself suggests that it's a transmission of an energy from one point to another. So it is a structure of any kind of the conductor or uh, insulating materials. So that forming the structure and it, that structure forming the uh, helps in forming the transfer of energy from one point to another. So it is a point to point transfer of a energy. So please note that energy uh, is not only the energy confined only to the uh, electrical energy, energy can be a light energy also in the fiber optics. So types of the transmission line, which are the different types of the transmission line. Uh, first is the balanced line wire. So in the balanced line wire, uh, it is also called as two parallel line wires. So it has a two wires, which is in parallel, coaxial cable, waveguides so it is uh, uh, micro strips or uh, strip lines and one more type is the fiber optics transmission line so in the balanced wire transmission line uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram there is a two wire conductors are there which are separated by the dielectric materials so that di this dielectric material is sometimes uh, 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 maybe it's air also or it any other uh, insulating material. So this dielectric material separating it also helps in minimizing the, uh, the there is a conductance between these two wires. So this is one type of the transmission line and as you can see these two transmission lines are separated by this dielectric materials. Dielectric materials. So these are the two wires. So this is a two wire transmission line, balanced transmission line. And why it is called as a balanced transmission line? Think about it. You may write the trans uh, answer on the paper. You may pause this video and write the answer why it is called as a balanced two wire trans transmission line. So, in this two wire transmission line, there is one more a twisted cable transmission line. So, there is a cable is a twisted. So, as you can see here. So, this is about the balanced two wire transmission line. And which are the advantages and disadvantages of the transmission line? This balanced train trans transmission line have helps in transforming the large power from one point to another. So large power can be uh, transferred with the help of this two wire transmission line. So as you may have observed the power grid. So power grid uh, actually used for uh, transmitting the power. It is not an information data or this, this source. Uh, transmitting the power from one point to another. So these are the merits as it is a simple to design and which are the demerits of the transmission line it is more prone to the noise external noise because it is a naked and it is not giving the uh, interference from the from any other electromagnetic waves which is present in the atmosphere coaxial cable next type of the transmission line is the coaxial cable there is one one center conductor and there is a copper mesh around it and there is one uh, dielectric material is here. So advantages of using the copper mesh over uh, uh, this uh, this center core conductor is it, it it will helps in minimizing the RFFs. So this core, most of the time it is uh, uh, made as a uh, made as a grounded. So this is connected to grounded. So any electromagnetic waves coming from the outside it is get or any noise it is from the outside it is get grounded. So there is minimum interference of the radio frequency noise, external radio frequency noise with this help of the achievement. So in the merits, you can say the uh, this kind of the transmission line is used a bit higher for the uh, 
uh, for higher frequencies as compared to the two wire transmission line and uh, here which are the demerits of the transmission line as it cannot be used for the large power handling large power handle uh, handling as go, goes with the two wire transmission line next is the micro strips lines name itself suggests there is a strips of the metals and there is one dielectric material one is the conducting and uh, this one is the grounded so this micro strips have an application in the integrated circuits where the distance is a uh, smaller and uh, of course it has advantages for the high frequency because the metal or material used for this fabrication of this micro strips line is uh, gold metal uh, which have a higher conductivity and low losses demerits which are the demerits of the uh, this kind of the line is uh, as the costly because you are using uh, metals which are gold and silver which have a lower conductivity higher conductivity sorry waveguides so one more types of the time and uh, the example discussed here is the rectangular wave there are different types of the rectangular waveguides we can discuss circular uh, waveguide is there and one is this one is the rectangular waveguide as you can see there is a uh, uh, rectangular hollow cavity through it uh, through which uh, it is uh, radio frequencies get transmitted so which are the merits of the uh, rectangular waveguide as only one mode is uh, possible in the uh, in this rectangular waveguide is either uh, transverse magnetic or transverse electric so it has uh, less power is required as compared to the transverse electromagnetics so these are the advantages of the and uh, also one more one more the advantages of using a waveguide is you can you transmit the large power through the this kind of the waveguides which are the demerits as it is a bulky uh, large in size and transverse electromagnetic waves can be, not be possible with the waveguides fiber optics line so it has a different application it is uh, I can say it is uh, it is crude to compare the fiber optics line with the other type of so in the fiber optics line actually the light is get transmitted or data with the help of the light is get transmitted so this is a core and this go through the core and uh, this one is the cladding so through the core a light is get transmitted and the light is get trapped and travel over the large distance so which are the advantages of the using a coaxial cable uh, as it can be used as a low loss transmission line and it can be used for the larger distance and which are the desired advantages you can you not use the uh, larger power for with the fiber optics transmission line so transmission line equation next is the transmission line equation to derive the transmission like equation we take the example of a two parallel wire lines twisted by a parallel or a simple parallel wire lines so because this is giving the advantages for simplicity of the solving the equation so that's why we are using the, we are considering the two parallel wire transmission line as you can see there is a generator sinusoidal generator or uh, alternating current generator and there is a generator resistance and there is a load resistance so in this type of the transmission line as you can see if you travel from the left side to the right side there is a change of an voltage and change of the current as you travel from the z direction so this is a transmission line which can be these are the two conductors uh, and which is are separated by the distance t and uh, this can be model as you can see as there is conductor there is a resistance in it and there is a conductance because there is a uh, some kind of the because air is not perfect or any other dry electric material is not a perfect insulator there is a, some kind of the conductance is there and capacitance is there so this is about the transmission line equation and this is uh, the resistance and capacitance resistance uh, as you can see there's resistance capacitance equivalent model for the transistor so these are the by applying the kvl as you can see you will get this uh, such kind of the equation and also by the kcl you will get the current equation so by solving the kcl and kvl you will get the transmission line equation here so positive is for the positive z direction and negative for the negative z direction so last is the this is the propagation constant so last is so this propagation constant what happens if the resistance is zero and inductance is infinity so what kind of the transmission line is that think about it write the question and i will cover one more session on this this is transmission line 
and next session I will cover it. So these are the references.